Hey there, buddy. It's Mark Kep with CampgroundViews.com. Today, I've got Jordan from IconDirect.com with me. Thanks for joining me, Jordan. Uh, my pleasure. Glad to be so, here. So IconDirect was one of the, yeah, if you remember, we just did this back to camping summit about a month ago, and I had commented how the, the partners that we had involved with that, you would traditionally call them vendors, but we called them partners who were involved with that. They stepped up knowing we were coming out of a pandemic, and they weren't really expecting to sell a lot. They are just kind of supporting the industry. And Icon Direct is one of those companies that supported us. And we thought their products are obviously very useful, but they're different and unique. So I wanted to bring Jordan on today to talk a little bit about this. It's a very timely because I've seen some conversation about, hey, where can I buy these parts of stock in my store? Well, here's a place where you can buy some of those parts of stock in your store. So Jordan, welcome. Thank you. And go ahead and give us a rundown on what Icon Direct is. Yeah, well, we're actually we're a manufacturer that uh, produces plastic components for the RV industry, uh, primarily like very very niche, hard to find plastic components that go on the outside of the RV uh, that often aren't supported by the manufacturer uh, after uh, after a, a unit's out of warranty. Uh, things like fender skirts is what we're we're commonly known for, but we do things like uh, fresh and wastewater tanks, skylights, uh, sinks, AC shrouds. Uh, all manner of uh, other trim components on the on the outside of the RV that uh, tend to get worn worn out from uh, UV and uh, and uh, travel damage. Well, you know, fender skirts. Obviously, this comes into play usually after a blowout, right? It, those these things get taken out first in a blowout, so you have a, a fifth wheel pull in, and he's missing the entire side. And these parts are I, I I have a fifth wheel, so I know this experience. I've had a blowout. I've lost my fender skirt. It is a pain in the rear to find these parts, and so. They can come on here, search for the parts, and you guys ship direct to the consumer. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we ship. Uh, we can ship direct anywhere in North America. So to campgrounds, we we often facilitate that kind of shipment, uh, or to RV dealerships as well. Um, and yeah, that's that's exactly what we try and uh, try and solve that that difficult to find that exact match that a uh, owner may may uh, may value. We we try and get that. And so like, if we look at like air conditioner shrouds, so um, as a park owner, they want to they wanna stock items that are going to be you know, pretty frequently lost or, or replaceable. So like we see air conditioner shrouds, these are things that fly off usually in the wind, like the Coleman shroud, right? Standard, yeah. I mean, Coleman's got to be, Coleman and Dometic, right? Those would be the two big ones right now? Exactly, yeah. And yeah, often hail damage or anything like that. So uh, it's it's something that you can offer. Uh, and uh, since we're an aftermarket provider, we we take uh, great care in in uh, the type of materials we use to make it a better experience the next time the customer may encounter inclement weather that that would typically damage the OEM parts. So this is always an option you can provide uh, an RV owner to uh, uh, upgrade their damage shroud to something that will last last significantly better. We know a lot of RVs, they have plastic items on them. So, you know, in this example, the, the, the shroud on the AC unit, usually all the vent covers and pieces of the slides and the fenders. And the, as you mentioned, those things get UV damage. They wear out. They start to crack, fade, and look bad. And it is hard to find those parts. So this is a really useful service. Your, your company is relatively, at least Icon Direct, is, is a relatively new brand. How long has it been around for? Well, uh, I've been with the company for about a decade, uh, and and in that decade is where we've really grown that brand on uh, online and as a as a direct service. Uh, but as a, as a company, we've actually been around for for twice that amount of time, so for tw twenty years, uh, in just in, in in different aspects. And uh, certainly, the number of SKUs and number of types of products we offer uh, have have has exploded over the last little while. So that's where that growth is really coming from. And you guys sell direct to OEM too. So OEM is, is installing your, your parts as part of their equipment, correct? Yes, yeah, we do work with some OEMs in the Elkhart area to provide them different different components, yeah. What's the biggest trend you're seeing in uh, you know plastic parts for RVs? Is there, you know, is there something we need to be aware of that's changing, that's different? I mean, is there is there some sort of uniformity coming into play here? Or, or what is the big trend for these type of items on an RV or, or are they all very unique based upon the RV? It, it tends to be very unique it, and it depends on categories. Like for example, you're on the skylight pages right now. Uh, there's common sizes amongst them. There's a whole bunch of variety for sure. But uh, the, the original manufacturers tend to stick to a couple sizes for most applications like the 1422, which is just in the bottom left there. Uh, that, that, is, that fits 80%, I'll say, of the market. It's, mm. uh, it's a very uh, unique or very uh, standardized size. Um, and that's a piece that would probably be hail damage, right? That's what, how this thing gets damaged usually? Yeah, 
Yeah, depending on the on the unit, uh, oftentimes the OEM will install a uh, either a uh, an acrylic or a very light polycarbonate shroud, and that doesn't tend to stand up to to you know certain sizes of hail or certain types of conditions. Uh, the aftermarket part we uh, we developed is is uh, of aftermarket quality with a good good thickness on the polycarbonate. Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah, and that's okay. the, the other trend I wanted to touch on is the aftermarket parts uh, generally trend towards uh, a more lasting repair. Uh, OEMs tend to tend to uh, find they need a, here, here. You don't need to say it. They need to reduce costs in order to keep price competitive. Exactly. They're they're very margin conscious. They want to they want to increase the margins on the units, so they're cost conscious when it comes to the unit uh, that they're the components that they're installing. So as an aftermarket supplier, we, we like to emphasize that uh, our, our parts, once installed, will, will service you much longer, much better than the, than the originally installed piece. Oh, and you even have, uh, you have training videos here that, that walk people through installation, very yeah. useful stuff. So, you know, a park owner, they can stock some of these, you probably have a list of parts. They, they can contact yeah. you, Jordan, and you can, they can say, hey, you know, I have a park, I'm located in an area that gets a lot of hail, and you could say, hey, here's the SKUs you should stock because yeah. these are going to cover, you know, 60% of all units, and then any other things you can actually ship direct to them for repair mm -hmm. and installation. So they can actually have either this website up, or do you have a print catalog too that they can have on their desk? We do, yeah, yeah. We uh, we can send these out to to park owners. Uh, we're actually just working on a new catalog. This one's a little a uh, little dated already, but uh, we add parts regularly. So the website's the best resource. Uh, but certainly, we can help uh, with a uh, with a kind of a no brainer list for our park owners and shop owners. Uh, like a fourteen twenty two skylight easily makes sense in certain areas. Certain AC shrouds. Uh, there's there's even some fenders that are very common, but mm. generally those are shipped to order. Uh, and uh, the other thing about our service is that we, we keep every, every part in stock on the website, uh, virtually I'll say, uh, but every vendor will at least have a couple in stock. You never know, we never know what's going to be needed across the, across the nation. So if you call it, call us, need this specific part, we'll have it and we'll be able to ship it next, day, next business day and get it to you in three, five days or, or sooner. Wow. Okay. Very good. That's actually yeah. a, that's an important thing. You know, when you're running a park, your guests might only be there for a week, and you know this is exactly. a nice ser this is a nice service to be able to offer them because you know one of the big trends we see in in the RV industry overall is we're seeing a lot of new RVers coming in into the space. But you know, as an industry, we have a real shortage of tech. So you know, if yeah. your RV's damaged, you know, to get it into a service repair facility is you know it's a long process. You can't just drop it off and have it the next day. So being yeah. able to provide, you know, either as a do-it-yourselfer, so the, the owner, they can go to icondirect.com, order the parts, ship to their house, repair it. Or if they're on the road and they're at an RV park, to be able to have that RV park owner, you know, order that part for them, have it shipped to them, and mm -hmm. be able to repair it right there is a very useful service. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that's something we're very conscious of. Like a lot of our components are, depending on the proficiency of the, of the owner, uh, how, uh, how attuned they are to using tools and getting getting into it. Some of them are quite easy to, to some of these kind of repairs are quite easy to address with a little guidance from a YouTube video or whatever. So we want to make sure we're flexible in how we can get that part to those individuals so they can address those repairs as they see fit, whether it's a do-it-yourself situation or or a more involved install like a skylight where they may want to uh, work with a, a, a repair tech. Uh, scheduling that kind of thing is, is, uh, is always a challenge. So uh, we want to take as much of that away as we can with uh, making the parts easy to get and quick to get. So I know you have freshwater tanks and holding tanks. Give me situations where these are being replaced or added into RVs. Is this usually like really old RVs or is it newer units? What are people buying tanks for RVs? Well, you t there's a number of different situations that uh, you touched on one, like if you have a tire, certain tire blowouts, depending on where the waste holding tank is, that can certainly take out a, a, a waste tank. Uh, rock, rocks being kicked up, anything under the belly of the RV uh, can be at risk for something like that. Uh, and despite, you know, despite uh, coverings and, and um, uh, enclosures underneath the RV, there's always risk of, of a, a tank becoming damaged. Uh, further, we see a lot, of, uh, a lot of people that are doing just retrofits, uh, rebuilding a vintage trailer. Uh, they are needing a tank entirely, or if they're replacing an old tank and have additional room to increase their capacity, uh, we see things like that. But in terms of a repair repair situation, there can be different uh, different factors that cause cause a damage uh, that that requires a full full replacement. Uh, it can be as 
yeah, like as, as simple as a rock being kicked up into the wrong wrong place. Uh, uh, it, it's amazing just going through your site, the, the wide variety of, of designs, and it kind of goes to our industry, right? You know, that's yeah. actually part of the reason why the tech, there is a tech shortage and why it takes so long to get RVs repaired is it's not, you know, it, there's not a standard part number. It's, it varies across brands, models, and even years. I imagine between years, there's even different parts that fit on different units. So it's, it's got to be, you got a pretty crazy job doing all this stuff, but you guys must work 24-7 designing these things. It's it's challenge keeping up and uh, uh, making the right parts that that make sense for everybody, uh, but also you know uh, making a commitment to to servicing even the lower 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 quantity uh, uh, areas. So a tank, a tank or a fender skirt we design and develop may not be overly popular, but it's important to offer it as part of the bigger picture so that we have the industry covered and we, we become the and we're the name for the industry for that category. Um, and yeah, you made an interesting point. Like it's not, uh, it's not always a standard part number or whatever. Uh, we often get the get some RV owners because they're not conscious of how the RV industry works necessarily, uh, and they'll they'll say, "I've got my VIN number. Can you find the right fender skirt?" <laughs> it's not quite like the automotive industry. It's not quite tracked to that fine detail. So it's often a challenge. Uh, um, finding the right parts. And, and yeah, so <laughs> let's go there. So they have their VIN number, they call you up and you have no cross reference to that. So what information, you know, let's go to the fender skirt because that's yeah. probably gonna be the most frequent item. So <laughs> they had a blowout, they lost their fender skirt. Um, maybe they have one on the other side so they can measure that, but let's assume they lost both of them. They had massive blowouts, lost both of them. How do, yeah. they, how do they get you the information they're gonna, you're gonna need to get them the right parts? And so what this comes down to is our actually our customer service, which I'd love to speak on. We've got uh, uh, excellently trained customer service that uh, that know how to address these situations and have become quite familiar with our, our uh, selection of fender skirts and how we how we uh, navigate it. Uh, but it basically, what our customer service will often do is uh, in that kind of situation where there's no no real physical reference to take uh, to take from uh, the customer. Uh, we'll take the year make model to start with a visual cross reference, just pulling that unit up, the details on that unit, and taking a look at the at the uh, fender skirt, uh, and saying, you know what, we do have we do have a couple varieties of that style, and from there we we do need to go back with the customer and work with dimensions then, uh, pulling it from what they can what they can best gather uh, off of the, uh, the the tire tire fender well area. But uh, with the with the trained customer service we have, that actually ends up being quite uh, quite a smooth uh, transaction or, or um, uh, determination of what uh, what which models to start with, where the best places to start. And so you say this original fender skirt creator. I noticed you guys can can recreate and um, even do some custom works. Talk a little bit about that too. Yeah. So this is a program that uh, started shortly after I. Uh, Came uh, came to this company, uh, and it's actually a really uh, innovative process that uh, uh, has a lot of technical stuff behind it, which I won't necessarily touch on because I'm not the, <laughs> I'm not the one to to really describe it. But uh, basically, if we don't have a model uh, a fit for a customer, we will uh, take the broken pieces that the customer may have gathered, or the opposite side, which they may cut up and send to us. And we'll we'll uh, reverse engineer it essentially. We'll we'll design a mold and allow allow us to create the part. And this really came from uh, 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 circa 2010 2009. Uh, after after the uh, the industry crash in 08, uh, it really became very important that that we developed more fenders because at the time we didn't have very many, and uh, a lot of brands and manufacturers disappeared virtually overnight and we uh, found that a lot of owners were looking to be taken care of and uh, this allowed us to develop quickly uh, a, a kind of a library of molds where we can offer those parts then to the future uh, customers. So at a reasonable it's, it's, price point I mean this is the price point so if they send this to you you know yeah. for a double axle it's 189 bucks for, and you'll make this unit for that. Yeah yeah so the, essentially we look at it as a, as a subsidized order in a way because it's certainly it's certainly several thousands of dollars to actually develop a mold and and develop the part and the trims and all the all the stuff that goes along with that uh so really they're paying for the first part off of the development of the mold 
uh, because we're, we're developing that mold with the anticipation that it's going to be added to our, to our library and be offered in the future. So very cool. Yeah, it's definitely a, definitely a, a, a reasonable price to have a custom part made, but we look at it from the other side that, uh, you know, it's not really a custom part if we're developing it for our, our, our selection. So. So really you guys are selling. You guys are selling to OEM, and you're also selling the folks that are RVing. Now, as we come out of this COVID crisis, we're seeing this overall trend of growth in the RV industry. Are you guys experiencing that on your end? Are you seeing the orders just start to shoot up again? Yeah, for sure. Uh, we've certainly seen the uh, kind of revitalization of the uh, of the industry uh, as things start to open up and uh, and uh, think wheels start to turn. So. Uh, it's, uh, it's certainly very interesting and we, we're first and foremost an aftermarket company, but we do some work with OEMs and we've seen it in both, both cases. Uh, OEMs are, are starting to turn their wheels and, uh, uh, certainly I think maybe even a little prior to that, we started to see an uptick in dealerships and RV owners starting to, to gear up for the season and get, get things that they needed to do done on their RVs. Uh, so yeah, we, we've, we've seen, we've seen a bit of a bump up, so. It's a, it's a good sign, I think. And so it's icondirect.com. So this is, you'll see this video if you're on the consumer side of our channels and also on the, the park owner side. And if you're a park owner, I notice you have this reseller sign up. So they should go to here to the resellers page and click yeah. on here to, to register as a distributor. Certainly, yeah. Yeah, as, uh, as part of uh, the, uh, um, as, as part of the initiative this year, we, we want to make sure that our campgrounds in particular are conscious and, uh, conscious of our services and, uh, and have, have the ability to, to make use of them. So certainly we, we look forward to hearing and working with some campground owners this year. Perfect. Yeah. It's a useful, useful service. I know some of you were asking about it. Some of you park owners were asking about getting um, wholesale prices on repair parts and replacement parts for RVs, icondirect.com. Uh, Jordan is, is your contact there, but you can just reach out to the customer service team. As you can see, their website is super easy to navigate and speaking about their website, icondirect.com if you're a general consumer and you are missing you know you're, you're probably looking at this as i was skirting through here going oh i actually need that part or i need that. in fact you know on my end you know i actually need the step trim for my uh, my fifth wheel you know i need oh. i need one of these pieces mine's all faded right now it's just become yellow so you know you're probably seeing parts that you need for your own unit you can go to icondirect.com and order direct from them and they'll they'll, sh they'll ship it straight to their house correct yeah right on yeah we'll see what we can do to help you out with that step trim Perfect. I appreciate your time, Jordan. Thank you for supporting the industry. Thank you for uh, joining me here today. And if you all want to learn more about them, go to icondirect.com and connect with them. Thank you, Jordan. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for having me.